In this video, I'm going to give you a quick review of an adjustable height bathtub safety rail. This is very heavy. It looks like plastic when you're just looking at the image on the box, but this is heavy metal construction. Turning this knob loosens the clamp on the bottom. You can see that just fall right out. We'll remove this foam block. There are rubber pads on all three sides of this clamp. Underneath these black clips are the adjustment pins. So with both of them removed, you can slide it to the height that you need. Put the pin back in place. To install this on the tub, it just slides right down and tighten it up. The question may be how tight is tight enough? Well, if you look in the instructions, it does give a caution that you don't want to over tighten it because it is possible you could tighten it so much that it would crack the fiberglass right there in writing. So you do have to be careful, which presents some other questions too. Tightening this from time to time may be necessary. The instructions also suggest that, but the question underneath it all is how much torque can be applied to this without the torque causing the fiberglass to crack. There is quite a bit of torque in even in the lowest setting, but imagine in the highest setting, that increases the leverage quite a bit. If this is just being used to stabilize for entrance and exit from the bathtub, it feels sufficient uh, for that. But of course the point of having this here would be to prevent a fall. And if there was a fall with full body weight torque on this, this is just a lever that feels like uh, uh, that fiberglass just isn't the anchor you need in a situation like that. It, it surely, it just would break. Now, if this was a cast iron tub, that wouldn't be such a question, but fiberglass doesn't have the strength. So these are things that we did not necessarily know until we put it in place, could feel the tension and realized this probably isn't the solution for our situation. 